to which is going to be uh, test for the Java skill on LinkedIn. I am seeking a principal software head position or a head of product engineering position. I've got 16 years and four months of experience in hardcore Java Z2E. Let's begin the test. So you click on take skill quiz here and I select my core ability main skill Java and it shows the instructions now. I'm going to just go ahead and click on start. All right. Hope that I do well. So the question is regarding the substring. So zero, one, and two. And it's two to five. So two, three, and four. Five will not be included in the substring. So it's R, A, and W. So the answer should be raw. Let's go on to the next question. How do you achieve runtime polymorphism in Java? So overloading is static polymorphism, and method overriding is the Runtime or dynamic binding. So it's runtime polymorphism using method overriding. Let's move to the next question. So here we have a array list. We had two. It parses Boolean with false and true. So I'm expecting that this will ignore the case. It's going to uh, add three and get one. So it's going to get false. So I'm expecting that this parse boolean, once it gets F A L S E, it's going to ignore the case and just going to uh, convert uh, this to a false. By default, the boolean variable is false so even if it is something which is not right it's going to go to a false so i'm selecting the answer as three here and then zero one which is going to be false so three false at position one it's going to return false hope that is true i'm not very sure okay so i'm going to have another question here <clears throat> main two extends main and it says string message so it's going to override with a with a subclass so string is a subclass of object so which means that uh, it should be valid this is valid so if I say new main dot message, the object main of the, of, the, of the class main is going to return hello. And this is going to call two string here. And it's going to call new of uh, main to dot message, which extends main object reference of main to these are two instance methods, so it's going to call world. I guess it has to be hello world. The best I can think of, I may be wrong here also. Mm, hello world seems to be right. Because the object is main here and the object is main two here. All right, let's go for the, okay. We have an list of names, which approach would not work. This is fine, uh, and this is a new lambda based syntax using collect and comparing is a new method. So, this one doesn't seem to exist. So, I'm going to mark it as names.sort as the right answer that will not work. So, what is the uh, result of this code? So, I'm having an exception here 
then I'm having arithmetic exception. So as per the rules of exception handling, this has to lie here and the exception has to be down. So which means that this will go to through a not compile because second statement is unreachable. Yeah. It'll not compile. So let's go to the next question. Int x equal to 5 x equal to 10 and we are saying system dot out until n x so we have a simple integer declaration here it's going to have 5 it's going to pick up the value 10 and then i'm going to say system dot out until x today it seems to be 10 i'm not sure if i'm missing something which is very fine here so i have public class main public stat wo, static void main string else and then I'm saying int x equal to 5 x equal to 10 more adding the value and I'm saying system dot out until x which should be 10 not sure if I missed anything here seems to be very 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 basic question all right let's get ahead uh, so here it says int i equal to 0 i less than 10 I plus plus. So we, here's the catch. It says i equal to i plus plus. So it's going to print this. This is going to have no impact. So it's going to have only this statement is going to have impact. So it's going to print 10 times. Let's see 0 and then it's going to print 1, whatever. So only when the value becomes, so it's going to print the first time 1, 2, 3. Uh, when it's going to be 0, it's going to be 1, and then it's going to be 10. So, yeah, it's going to print it 10 times. Yeah. So, you can see here that new of array list, list of that hello, and this is going to be auto boxing, unboxing, all the way from Java 5, the concept here, and we're going to have a, a List of get zero of object is going to be written true, and get one of instance will return true. Both are going to return true. This is going to be for auto boxing and auto unboxing. Well, the point here which remains is that when we say list of get one, it's going to automatically box this into integer object and then yeah that's how it's going to work so it's going to add an integer object so i think this has to be true true as far as i think um, let's go to the next question so we have a b c d so we have error here error is a subclass of throwable Exception also the subclass of throwable and exception and error are different hierarchies. So it's going to throw an error, it's going to come here, it's never going to enter here. It's going to print A and it's going to print T. It's going to ignore B and C is going to never going to enter. Otherwise, this code looks fine. So it's going to A and the error, it's going to come to finally and print D. Okay, let's go to the next question. So Class main static int count equal to zero. If count is ten three, count plus plus. Okay, static access is fine. Main of null. Well, this one seems to be um, a tricky one. So it says it is going to call the main method by itself. So main is a privilege method so if i call it myself now let's see the count less than three count plus plus and we are going to call the main method ourselves so it's going to call it one two zero 
and then one and two and third time I'm going to say return okay so it's going to print it's more like a little bit recursive method not able to not able to judge what is going to write answer but I'm going to just say that is going to run forever I may be wrong here so what is the most reliable expression for testing whether the values of two string variables are the same oh the values so it has to be these are reference checks and this assignment there's no I'm not sure what the matches method but I know what equals I'm going to compare the values the values here so let's go to the next question what is going to output of this code so here let's see yeah so there's a tricky part to this question uh, which says character at i plus one so zero zero one two three four and because it's not going to stop if it's going to stop at four it's going to go for five and it's going to throw a runtime exception so that's the trick here and the next question is going to be uh, message dot of string six of twelve plus six so zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so there's no twelfth uh, there's going to be no twelfth uh, uh, character here so it's going to throw a runtime exception uh, that's the best I can think because if this is in Java, we start at zero for the string. Uh, all right, so let's go to the next question. All right, what statement to if nifty is of type string? Which what statement returns to if nifty is of type string? Nifty instance of string is definitely going to return true. If nifty is of type string. It is going to be reference kind of thing. But this is always going to turn to if it is going to be a type of thing. A string literal. And if it is an instance of java.line string. Yeah, this seems to be like a right uh, answer. Mm, okay. Let's go ahead and see the results. So I'm around 90, 70th percentile, but they don't show the marks. So that's it, guys. I'll display this badge on my profile. Thanks for watching.